Kali. I got home last night from Anime New York City. If you guys didn't know, this was a really big deal for me. It was my first huge con out of college. And I actually had a little bit of, you know, financial cushion to enjoy the Comic-Con with. I just got back from work. Last night, I got home at 8 p.m. And pretty much just had time to sort out what I bought and then get myself ready for work the next day and all of that stuff. So now I'm back from work. <laughs> so I have some time to go over what I bought. I actually got a ton of stuff and I'm super excited to share it. Uh, I will also be going over kind of my experience with Anime New York City uh, this year because if you guys didn't know, last year was a really rough year for the con. So I will also be telling you guys how it went this year in comparison to last year in case you were a little scared of going this year. Um, I, I don't blame you. It's a huge financial commitment. And on top of that, it had such a bad reputation last year. Um, so in case you guys were interested next year, you can... I will put chapters in the bottom of this video. So please check those out for if you're interested in either what I bought or, you know what I thought of the con. I just figured I'd put them both in the same video. No need to make you guys skip around my channel. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna open this all on camera too. So you guys are seeing it as I'm seeing it. I got this Love Live wall scroll of them all in like bridal. It's really, really cute. Da -da -da -da. Look at how pretty it is. You guys didn't know Sumeri is my favorite. I absolutely love her. This is like Christmas morning. Also, I got this little axolotl plush. I totally d forgot the artist store. I bought so much stuff. But this is super cute. I just, I always have to get a plushie at every go. Oh my god, it's so cute. Next up, I so I got that wall scroll from like a, a shop. I do not remember which shop. Next up, this was actually from the Bandai Namco store. Uh, I got this Rena mouse pad from Love Live. I actually needed a mouse pad because I took my cuter one to my office. So I could actually have like a desk at work that gives me serotonin. This is my little like Rena. Rena's my favorite Ninja Saki character because she's a tech nerd. If you guys didn't know, I studied computer science in school. And techie girls in anime hold a very special spot in my heart. Next up, I got a light stick. I got the yellow light stick. You can see the price there. Should probably take this off. They gave me batteries for it too, and I did take a business card for this business, but I just do not remember where it was. I don't remember where I put the business cards. Yeah, I still have to do a ton of unpacking, so be patient with me. Yeah. So I really wanted the yellow one. Uh, if you guys, you guys also wouldn't know this, but I actually became a love live fan in like 2020. So although I know the Muse and Aquas are very, very special to most people, they are still special to me. I love them. I have my favorites and such. Um, to me, Liela is more, more special because for me that was like, that was like the group that I got to watch episode by episode each week. So I am super into getting Liela merch, if you can't tell. Speaking of Liela merch, I also got a Sumire, <laughs> a Sumire. Acrylic stand figure, so cute. Once again, my favorite girl. <laughs> that was also from the Bandai Namco store. Um, and last year, I actually wanted to buy um, some Love Live items, but unfortunately, I was actually too late to them because if you didn't know, um, also part of last year's monstrosity of a Comic-Con, uh, I got into the con at like 6 p.m., which meant that all the good things were sold out by 6 p.m., pretty much, which was awful. So I didn't have access to this kind of thing, but because I was there Friday right when it opened, I was actually one of the first 50 people in, which I will go into later, I got this. I'm so happy about that. Since I was like maybe in middle school, I've seen this figurine, and I thought it was the prettiest figurine ever, and I always wanted it and they had it at a very discounted price. And here she is. I'm gonna look. I have been dying to look. I wanted to save it for camera though. I actually have not opened this stuff. Oh, I didn't mean to tear the box. Ah, look at how pretty she is. 
Come on, camera, focus. Or the lighting's just too much for her. Look at that. That is so cute. And she is standing. Next up, I got this super cute hoodie at Dream Lily. That's the name of the stand. I actually remembered them. Their brand was so ridiculously cute, I remembered it. Also, it's on the tag, but I didn't look at the tag first, I swear. Da -da -da -da. Look at how cute it is. They only had large, but I don't have any oversized hoodies and it's cropped, so I figured that would be fine. And then it's a little reincarnated as a slime Remiru. <laughs> Uh, he came. It was just so cute. It was also from Bandai Namco. Now, one of my favorite items I got. So, the first place I went when we rushed in, like when it was the first 50 people, is the Aniplex area. I'm a huge Aniplex fan because they did my Dress Up Darling, One Drag Priority, a ton of really good titles. Um, so, I went straight there and I went to Crunchyroll. There was a freaking Marin mug Look at it. and the line got super long after i went there but it is so pretty and how could i say no and something i put in the box for safekeeping was some random person i think this human a lot i had no clue who they were should have figured it out and uh they were like taking polaroids of cosplayers so they took a polaroid of me and my yotsuba costume and I just thought that was so cool. It was so so awesome. Because <laughs> I know film for pol Polaroids isn't cheap either, so it's like a little gift. And, and I, that's so cool. I love it. <laughs> I'm going to go through what I got for free last, but I'm going to go through manga right now that I bought. And uh, Korean illustrated novels. I forgot what they're called. I think it's Manoa or something, but I, I'm definitely going to butcher the name, so... So, uh, here's the manga that I got. Starting off, I got the White Cat's Revenge as plotted from the Dragon King's Lap. And this is just, I don't know, it looked really pretty. I really liked the art style when I went through it. And the main character looks super cute. Um, there it is again. And I got this at the Yen Press stand. I just learned who Yen Press was and I was like, whoa, they've published like most of the things that I read and really enjoy. So that's why you go to events like Anime New York City too though. And this is huge to me. I have been reading the online chapter by chapter for like since it came out. Uh, and I remember telling people about it and they were like, oh, okay. And I didn't know anyone else was into it because the attitude that is a remarried empress. This is so good. If you are like me and you are really into Romance, um, I read most of this already, but I noticed some stuff in there that I hadn't seen before, so I'm really looking forward to going through the whole thing physically. Uh, plus, it's just part of a collection. Um, if you're really into romance, like the, and kind of like, I don't know, some goofy romance too and whatever, and like some plot twists, like this is it. It's like a drama romance, and it's got really pretty clothing and everything, that, everything that I love in a, uh, story. <laughs> and also I got this last and first idol from J Novel Club. It just looked really cute. I have no clue what it's about. I read the back and I was like, oh, actually that looks pretty cute. Um, and also from J Novel Club, I could have sworn I got something else. We'll see as I go through my pile though. So I got this Her Majesty's Swarm. I have not read this either. This just looked really cool. And it basically just looks like a really awesome kick butt protagonist going through like there's not art so I, I was I have to read it obviously um and this is also from J Novel Club and it just I don't know it just looks so so cool you know <laughs> so why not I tried to get a lot of stuff I haven't read but I can't help but to get some items that I just kind of want to collect a bit you know so now I'm going to start going through a bunch of free stuff that I got um from just walking around the con so I got this at J Novel Club as well, and I thought that this was the coolest thing ever. Um, and it's like a sampler of a bunch of different books that they publish. And if you guys don't know J Novel Club, they also did My Next Life as a Villainess. And if you know me, you know that's one of my favorites ever, like of all time, is My Next Life as a Villainess. Uh, well, I guess there's a lot of My Next Life as a Villainess now. 
all roads leave ugh, all routes leave, lead to doom with Katarina Kleist. That's my favorite one like ever. So I'm like, yeah, sampler, I'll read through it because then I can figure out if there's any others I want to read without buying them. I also read a lot of stuff for free online, but you know. Oh yes, this one is also not free. So, uh, but I just forgot earlier the what's wrong with being with getting reborn as a goblin. This just looked super funny and I totally love super funny stuff. But it was the beginning of the end poster. I think it was at the top of the stand, but also the cr the writer of this actually was at the end press panel that I went to, so I feel like it also could be from there. But super cool, we got a face reveal from Turtle Me, so that was, that was really neat. Speaking of the panel, we got two manga, like they just gave out manga to each person. So, <laughs> not gonna say no. <laughs> Um, next up, so this, I got home, and I was like, I don't even know where these came from. Like, these are completely mysterious. Like, these are like, like postcards. And a lot of them are actually like, like female protag anime. Not anime, manga, light novels. Some of them aren't. But I'm sitting here like, oh my gosh, what is this? And I have no clue where it came from. I don't remember picking it up. And so I have these super cute pictures of a lot of things that I actually really like a lot. Um, like there was literally a Bibliophile Princess one. So many little paper freebies. Oh my gosh. There's a ton of free bookmarks, more of those postcard type things. I'm not gonna get too into them right now. Oh, but I bought these. And these are just mixed in with all the paper freebies of Anime Girls. <laughs> They're super cute. Your Marin. Maybe I'll put one on my laptop. Um, and Amelia. And I freaking love these. They are so cute. Also, uh, I signed up for High Dive 30 free days, and I already it was already on my list. Um, so they gave us like free posters for like Call of the Night, In the Abyss. Um, Akiba made war. This actually looks really funny. And Urusei Yatsura, which is an awesome one. It's like gold, anime gold here. So glad. I, like, I'm, I'm happy that they gave attention to it again and remade it. And then we got this at Crunchyroll, the Bungo Stray Dogs poster. So that's pretty cool. Okay. But there's this blind bag, and you guys want to know something funny. I don't remember picking up a blind bag at any point. I mean, it's really all a blur. It was a lot of fun. But I do not know what's in here at all. I don't know what anime this is. I do not know what, what it could be from the anime. So. I actually never got a blind bag before either. It's always just felt like a risk. So I must have really liked this one. It's a Marin. Of course it's a Marin. Look at that. It's so cute. I must have got this at Aniplex as well. So uh, we got to the con on Friday morning. I'll just kind of go over everything, talk about it as we go. Uh, and we actually got there super early. So it opened at 1 p.m. and we got there at 8 a.m. And we stood outside for probably hour and a half, two hours. That's We were there dummy early though, so I'm not even gonna be mad about that. And then we got let inside into the line waiting area on the first floor, didn't check our coat or anything. So we could hop in like the first like release area because they have A, B, C, D, whatever. And we were let in and then we went straight to the vendor hall and we spent a good good chunk of time there on friday and that's where we bought all this stuff we actually didn't do like any shopping really on saturday um because we just really wanted whatever was there first we wanted our, our choice of things and then i was in my yotsuba cosplay that day super fun i don't know if i'm releasing the vlog before this or the vlog after this probably the vlog, vlog before this because that's why i'm most excited to edit sorry to this video but um <laughs> But it was super fun. Uh, we met a bunch of random friends there and we also tried a bunch of foods. We had like the go-go curry. Um, I tried a bubble tea place and it was really not that good. <laughs> 
Uh, I was just really impressed by everything too when stuff walking around. There was like a giant Luffy from One Piece, like giant, freaking crazy, insane, massive. If I can find the clip, I will show you the clip here. Uh, and then uh, there was like, we just explored. Like I walked around the convention center, honestly, like I'd felt really nostalgic. Um, Cause I was there last year and last year was just so not fun and I didn't really have money cause I was in college. So it wasn't, wasn't the same. Everything was like a budget experience. <laughs> we also stayed in the most amazing hotel ever and it was gorgeous and it, that was a great experience. So we pretty much shopped that entire day. Uh, we went to a panel, which was the thing I was really nervous about. And we saw early, oh yeah, so we saw early Crunchyroll premieres. And uh, one was like The Exorcist Reincarnated. The middle one, I do not remember the name of. The last one was The Ice Blade Sorcerer Reincarnated. They were all Isekais of sorts, except the middle one wasn't an Isekai. Uh, and that was super duper fun. Uh, I felt super cool getting on the panel like that. Uh, the panel lines weren't crazy either. So like literally we got there 20 minutes before the panel and sat in the queue room. And then we got like second row, row at the panel, which was really, really nice. We also went to a 3D printing for cosplay panel. So as you guys know, I've been working with my 3D printer and I actually learned that 3D printers are super toxic. Um, I did not know that. I mean, it's it's kind of, it makes sense, you know, like it's it's pretty obvious, but I just, I guess it didn't cross my mind, but hey, now I know. So I'm really glad I went to both of those panels. And then Saturday, we kind of did it again. I dressed up as Eileen from I'm the Villainous, I'm Taming the Final Boss. Super proud. I made that cosplay in like a week video. There was a video for it too. <laughs> uh, and then we... The line also was not bad on that day. We got there like an hour before the con opened and there were still empty queue areas like before we got in, which was which was insanely nice because last year was once again, last year. So <laughs> we focused on panels, photos, just sitting around the convention center. We ate a ton of food on Saturday. We went to a studio trigger panel where they did live drawings um, and we actually the director of Cyberpunk Edge Runners was on a video call with the audience and it was really cool. There was this Rebecca cosplayer sitting in the row in front of me and he like actually saw her cosplay and was like, oh, you're cosplaying Rebecca. And I just imagine that cosplayer must have had like, mm, that must have been an amazing moment for that cosplayer. <laughs> um, so the trigger panel was really amazing because there was also some character designers, uh, animators, sitting on that panel and they were just awesome. And they could only speak Japanese though, so the translator to translate everything. I had really wished I spoke it, but I am working on my Spanish right now. Then we went to a panel for like, oh, that day we'd also went to the Yen Press upcoming release panel. And then we went to the J Novel upcoming release one. Um, I like to know what manga's up and coming, like kind of what to stay caught up with. Uh, I think as a cosplayer, it's good to know too, because then, it allows you to basically kind of like have a heads up, I guess, like if something is going to be big. Like it would have been nice to know to make Lucy's cosplay like two weeks before Lucy got super popular, right? Like, um, so I tried to get in on that, <laughs> if that makes sense. Uh, also, I forgot on Friday night, I'm like kind of scatterbrained, don't mind me, I worked all day. <laughs> so, uh, and I didn't really have any me time in between. So Friday night, we had actually also went to a Korean barbecue called, called Goji, I think that's what it was called. And they were the most, that was like the best customer service ever. Like I swear my neighbors like jump as they're walking instead of walking. Like I just got so scared because they were like, I just heard and I'm like, whoa. <laughs> so I had a really good experience. Like honestly, wish it never had to end. Wish I could just stay there forever, but you know, gotta come back to the real world at some point. Uh, it was a really good time and I have really no complaints about it this year. Like, I think everything went so smooth. If you're considering going next year, I would say to do it because I thought that this year was really good. I think a lot of people are still complaining online and honestly, I feel like they're just snobs. Like, I don't know how else to put it, but like, also I did get there pretty early for each day, but it was much better than last year. Like, I'm not gonna be that hard on it, 
Like, I'll be blunt, last year was awful, but I'll also give it credit to where it's due and they, they improved a lot and the security was also a lot friendlier. They were they only checked us once going in and they had these really cool devices. I'm like at the front of the job center, you didn't have to get checked every single time going in and out of the vendor hall. Um, it was it was amazing. Like they had great crowd control. I didn't feel unsafe or like I don't know, like unhappy with anything. Like I felt like I could get where I needed to be and Cleo's Cleo's being by the end. So no complaints here. I had a really great time. I'm hoping to either go to Anime New York City 2023 or 2024. Depending on what other cons I want to do, I gotta allocate resources <laughs> where necessary. <laughs> I still want to explore more cons. Uh, I also think the Javits Center is an amazing venue and I love how much is around it. We could- there was so much to explore after the con every day. I do wish there was like an official like con after party that was like at the co Javits Center. Like some other cons have masquerades, but that's about all I think that it's lacking. Besides that though, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you guys enjoyed my little like haul and just chat um, and like my mini little review of Anime New York City this year. <laughs> Very small. Um, remember you're always welcome to skip around too. I'll chapter everything so you don't have to watch the whole video to see the part that you want to. And I will see you guys next week. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!